Hello everybody, we are back today playing another, I know it's like really early in the morning, but this is like the only real time where you can play a horror game, okay. you know? Let's see what tonight brings. Anything less, and it's not really scary. Okay. Here's a riddle you know? for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool, <laughs> well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Mm -hmm. Full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Well, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> okay, as I was saying before I got so wildly, rudely interrupted, is that, uh, you know, we're playing this. You know, we're chilling, you know, like we normally do. And, uh... Yeah, we're going to see this as it goes, continue. I hope you all have a great night and a great day, you know, from... Is that you, Jacob? Does that look like Jacob? And uh, if you guys are, awesome, smash that like button. If you're not, well, you're fucked. <laughs> so uh, here we go. We're going to explore. We're going to probably get murdered by an unknown werewolf. In the middle of nowhere, you're probably gonna hear some screams and some nice gooey goodness. All right, here we go. If you guys all can't hear, well, this game scared me like twice, which is super like rare, might I add. No I almost never. What these are? Can't say that I've used them. The happy worms. A little too all natural for me, TBH. You know. I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Oh, please, God, no. Okay. Probably. We're just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think that is exactly where it goes. I mean, I'm not a forest person, you know, like. A person who knows how campgrounds are run, so I really do not know. So, and this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. Very true. I think I made my point. Mm, that ass dough. Mm, sorry. Mm -mm. Supposed to be as uh, interesting as possible. Anything interesting in here? Anything secret? Any tarot cards? No, no, no. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna wave the lights around. Okay, here we go. Anything with the boats? The boaters? The boaties? The boogers? The bodas? The modas, the frubas. Okay, is that? So this island is like an unexcavated Jesus. part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, no. I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But it's actually I'm older and I think wiser I'll... now, and realize that <clears throat> not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, 
Lola. A metaphor in the narrative by mean a fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep it's ranting give me about a choice, my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up wait, to Wait, 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 what's that in the corner? Hold up. It's gonna be gone in a minute, isn't it? Hold up, you all saw that, right? I'm not going crazy. There was somebody right there. That is kind of hard to miss. Wait, hold up. No? Okay. Nope. Uh, let's oh, check out this here. We're in it now anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Hmm. I'll be honest, that kind of sounds sad. Well, we're going to explore through here for a minute. Before we then check out the upper area. Okay, we're going on. Right above us is the thing. Was up. Huh. Must be the wind. So, like I said, everybody, we're going to explore through here. We're going to go back. This is actually kind of fun. Oh, we're I not. Feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Can I pull back now? Can I pull out? I mean, who knows? <sighs> Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed mm. our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70 year old lovers mm. or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as Bruh. they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Okay. So, this leads directly up to it. What the hell's that on top? Nothing? Okay, so we're not gonna go up it. We're gonna explore it, obviously. What's this? Hmm. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? So and so motel. Oh shit. Quoth Clue the match. Raven nevermore. Oh no. I'm missing two. Betting they're up above, though. Okay, like I say. Okay, anything around? We're not touching that, so... Not yet, anyway. Oh, for a moment, I thought I heard growling. I'll be fully honest, everybody. I was about to be like, oh, shit, GTFO. Okay, I can't cross that. 
And do I, can I have to go around this like this? Okay, I do. Okay. To be honest, I kind of thought I was locked over here. Can you stop playing this ominous music? Play the nice, happy stuff. Anything interesting? Anything interesting? 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 No, no. Dirt. Bridge. Dirt. Well, we're gonna check this out real quick. Of course. Hold on. Anything interesting? Anything interesting? No? No? Okay. So since we know there's nothing interesting here, we're not gonna go up above now. Unless we get jumped by a werewolf, then well, we're fucked. Yo. I'll be honest, you guys, I'm hearing some freaky weird shit around here. Like, I know it could just be the ambiance, and I'm just like losing me marbles, which is extremely possible. Well, that or I never had any to begin with, which is also very possible. But when you have surround sound on like I do, you hear everything. I want to check this out again. Okay, well, yeah, you're probably right. I probably would wish. I wonder if it's possible to actually save those two campers, but I don't think it is. I'll be honest. Okay, so now we're going to go up above here. Please don't get murdered, please don't get murdered, please don't get murdered. That sounds like a thunderstorm. Damn, see, it's just one thing about these type of games that I like from this specific types of creator. Like, they do it good. Not only do they make it look good, like, look at this. You can hardly tell that this was made, like, as a game. Like, you can tell from here and there, sure, but... It really just puts you on it, you know what I mean? Maybe we'll just take a look up this way. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, we're going to be exploring everything here. Damn, that moon is gorgeous. I have to know how they did that, dude. Seriously. This, oh my god, this is that fan fucking tastic. Wow, look at that. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I mean, look. Wow. I mean, I don't know how they did it. But, damn. They're awesome deads. I don't even know how long it's going to take to make it. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this damn so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there, and there's still so much to talk about. Oh, another choice? You know, let's be Abby's compassionate. Okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, <clears throat> Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely getting mauled by a fucking werewolf. And by mauled by a werewolf, I mean literally mauled by a werewolf. So, uh, yeah. That is unfortunate. What's this? Oh, is that the zipline? Oh, that's cool. Wait a moment. Hold up. Hold the fucking phone right now. You don't give me a zipline for nothing. Oh boy. 
I hope I can't fall off. <coughs> Wow. Can I see the water move? Oh my god, I can, dude. That is just awesome. Okay, so we're gonna check the other side before we go in. Even though this thing looks like it's about to fall apart. So there's been no cards so far. So, unless it's in here, which is highly possible. But I'm gonna check fully around it first. Can I do that? No? Okay. Okay, I guess we... Buy the buy here. Oh look, car keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those. Oh boy, okay, so... There we go, now I'm just missing... A few looks I'm sorry, like. officer. I have no idea what you're talking about situations, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. If you discount how creepy he is, he's kind and of here. Sexy. We are, just as so. promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? Why do I get a feeling of a I forgot the timing. children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Nothing? Nope, no, nope, nothing. I'll be honest, I was fully expecting a quick time. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp oh, experience right maybe. there. And oh look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. It's gonna make me choose, isn't it? I f knew it. Hmm. What do you all think? Let's search the bags. I'm Bag curious. It is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Might be some good stuff in here. Then I'll check the rickety thing afterwards. Claire. Ooh. Fun. Taser. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. And this is why we got the taser and stuff. Good thing I chose to search the bags first for going up there. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Oh. Taser this motherfucker. Take photo. Did I actually get it? Yo, okay, that doesn't look like a vampire. Or it kind of feels more vampire to the werewolf. The other one looked more werewolf. This one like kind of looks like a vampire. Good thing we put on them clothes. Down. See ya, motherfucker. Ride the zippy. Spray this fucker! Keep running! Up. Slip and slide, motherfucker! Button, button, 
man. Please tell me they just not use a window. Trap door. Move it. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Get down. Climb Go! Nasty ass motherfucker. That tongue, though. My heart. My heart re racing right now. Holy shiza. So, good news. I did that all right this Easy. time. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no. Sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. <laughs> Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> eh. Hey. What's that? Oh, I got it. Nice. Strength. Strength, raw power can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping to a previous unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand gives away. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. Okay. Alright, I like that. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. Why do I get that feeling that thing's gonna crawl down the You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. I really hope they're gonna be okay. Do you think that whatever's left in the nurse's office is gonna cut it? Caitlin knows what she's doing. Does she? I, I mean, she wasn't even supposed to be working at the nurse's office this summer. She only filled in because some other girl didn't show up. It's better than nothing. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Mm hmm. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where are you going? I, I I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Oh, I thought it said kill him, not Dylan. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? Hmm. I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like what? Should I ask for like police, ambulance? Huh. Both, obviously. Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say like help, help? So they'll say nine one one. What's your emergency? And I'll say help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are. So they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just like send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. 
What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right, when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay, well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. <laughs> okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Eh. Okay. For some reason, uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's go. I would be freaked too. Dude, what are you oh doing? My god. Yeah, oh my god, indeed. True. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, Dude. sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. <laughs> Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. <laughs> I mean... Am I interrupting something? <clears throat> yes. You are. Thank you very much. Okay. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. <coughs> oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you are sexy. I mean... Am I... Uh, excuse me, holy shit. Hopefully this thing, uh, matter of fact, how the hell did that thing get up there? I want to point this out. The thing was, ha and that's just more of them. Oh. Yeah, I'd put more space in between me too. Let me guess, I'm going to have to... Let's real slow. <sighs> uh, 
I'm not sure if I should, but I'll keep it slow at the moment. Oh. Did I think I make it open? I don't even know. Unless there's more of them. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh, hello. Oh, good Already. Good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it. Tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Of course, you know me. Obviously, I want to see more, so I can avoid anything possibly f***ed up. Oh. So I might possibly end up killing somebody. Honestly, those guys are actually hunting and actually saved me multiple times. Remember who's looking out for you. Exactly. So, I mean, those guys did save me multiple times. So, yeah. I'm going to stay by their side and let, you know, yeah. He's going to turn into one of them, isn't he, though? I get the feeling so. Hey. I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, oh, I, I just this. asked you that. I... It's okay. Just f already. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Nope, I ain't speaking up for that. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. We don't know what's out there. It could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna check it out. How are you moving that leg?
Let's just give him a quickie, damn it. <laughs> I knew it, 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 I knew it. I would have whipped out that gun while carrying it up the stairs, but what do I know? Okay, he's a decent guy. If they wanted us dead, we'd be dead already. Excuse me. I'm guessing that keeps the things away, that thing away, or whatever. It's my bet. How does this guy not see me? Mm, must be the wind. say but like what yes yeah, so like I was just you know thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and uh, started camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other you know oh, I'm sorry Nick what what are you saying Don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but it kind of felt like a little bit more was gonna happen. Well, did you? Want a little bit more to happen? So are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean. Dude. Of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um. I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <sighs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. 
We've died. It's okay. I got this. Oh my God! What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. This guy is really shitty at his job. So the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything and you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. Mm-hmm. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but... I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um... Is this a block me further? Okay, it does. See, I'll be honest, that totally screams werewolf to me, but, you know, I feel like I could be wrong here, but I don't know. I genuinely have no idea what it is. Werewolf, Wendigo, I don't know. It was right over there, so... you my lovely exploration. I'll do my best to keep my heart from leaping out of my throat. Always a good thing, always a good thing. Can I even hear it growling or anything? Wow, that's good. It's good. It knows. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little <laughs> harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Like, you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. <laughs> well, actually, I'm Ryan I'm, Ryan. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, I'm going to re-explore this now. Yes, I know it's like right over there. All good, all good. Can't enter, can't do anything to it, okay. Interactable? Yeah. To be honest, it seems more like a short wave radio. But and again, once again, I'm not a radio guy. Dude, 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 it's this. So it gives you a second chance to discover that. Interesting. So you get two chances to discover that so far is what I've discovered, which is an interesting development. As far as I know, there's nothing else here. I mean, I checked all this in the beginning kind of thing, and I'm willing to bet that hasn't changed. The only thing I did not check was... Son of a bitch, dude. I literally just jumped. Oh man. I told the kids to look after this. It's three times older than they are. <laughs> Why the hell did I do that? Okay, isn't this the her apartment or, or not apartment, but uh it's either this one or I think it's that one actually, because it was like right next to it if I remember right. Was this one? No, am I wrong here? I don't know. I'll be honest. So this one or that one? But I checked that one, didn't I? Yeah, I think it was that one. But mm. This is something the military needs to deal with. All good? Okay. Uh, give me a minute. All right. Okay, well, I know everything there, but I do want to check around at this huh. stuff, make sure everything's all good.
super sus. Hello. Nice. Here we have the Hermit. When a Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection too. Perhaps given some thought, the Hermit who chase Cause he's guide you through his safety, but it all depends on your actions, not his. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Well, I'm happy I decided to explore this. I still am missing one, though. I was unable to find it. Okay, but I think that's everything, though. Hmm. I guess I can check the other side, too. Probably nothing, but... Yeah, nothing here. Okay. All good? Also, with that kind of creature on this, who the hell's idea was it to set up a fucking summer camp? This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but mm -hmm. I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay. okay. Let me get this set up. All right. God damn, that's ancient. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever so I think the range is about a mile how do you even know all this stuff uh, I just kind of picked it up hmm. the tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on well if you like I could show you the ropes like a class yeah, it's easy. Like, climbing. Sign me up, teach. <laughs> Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power-up. Um, but that's where this comes in. That's my... It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but... It's worth giving a shot. So... We can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is uh, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. Dude. Yeah, I do good? Was that? Swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. What? Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure.
Does that look like a bear to you? Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna head to the. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. I can't be sure they were talking about us. Uh, I don't know. I, it really, really sounded like they were. But that's... That's not possible, right? Oh, shit. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Ah, indeed. I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. I have no idea, indeed. Like, he's like, he goes, shit. He's like, oh no. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think can a bear can crawl on the fucking ceiling? No! No, we cannot! It's more like a. I say a werewolf. I, it, it feels werewolf skinwalkers to me. Or like, well, not skinwalker, Wendigo kind of thing. No, I'm not gonna shoot right now. I, I, I just. I feel like that might be a bad idea. Okay, go away. What is that? I didn't see anything. I blinked. Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, What about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. No. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get into a cabin now. Go. go. Oh, right. That cabin's oh, still locked. Fuck, dude. They're gone. Oh boy. I okay, I did not expect that to come bite me in the ass. Do something, come on. Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean maybe we can scare it off? Uh Well it, yeah, I mean if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it and, and I mean it would hurt like Do hell it. but you know Do it Do it Okay Th that thing can literally took a fucking okay. sniper shot to the face um. and was perfectly fine. Okay that thing can take bullets. It's almost Hey, Dylan. Best thing you do is be calm in this take your breath. situation. Sure you calm. Okay. Yeah. As the right. moment you're desperate, you're gonna fuck up. And the moment you fuck up, something missing. Everybody's dead. What's missing? Calm. Get closer! Get closer! Get closer! I want the door! Oh shit! It, it's attacking the cabins. Oh crap, it knocked out the wire. Okay, uh, uh, fix it, I'll cover you.
Something on. Fucking fantastic. I think we're okay for Fuck now. me, dude. Oh, oh, I nearly threw my headphones. Chase us out of the lodge. The fuck I up. think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell was going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then they would have sensitive hearing, so... Son of a bitch, dude. I just fucking... Caitlin, where's your gun? Jumped. I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Let's move. Who was she? They're hunting Should we follow it. her? Ah, <sighs> oh, shit, Dylan. What is that? Her body. Oh my god. <gasps> what happened to her clothes? Who is that? I'm so confused. Was that the, the chick with the eye patch? Was I? I'm honestly. So they were clearly undressed. So who was that? Because every single person in here is dressed. Okay. So everyone's alive, right? I think. Anyway, let me... I don't know. I'm genuinely baffled, everybody. Oh, you're back! Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Uh, I'm guessing it was the chick, the whatever. Hermit. She's the only one who jumped over there. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions. Not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Oh, fuck. Is that a bear trap? Oh, shit. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. It Worth does. remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. You seem too excited.
prayers by night. Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Emma, is that you? Alrighty guys, that will be the end of this stream here. Um, we're officially at chapter 5 now. Uh, we found a lot of evidence. Weirdly enough though, uh, not all of it. But uh, I do hope you all did enjoy watching this. And uh, have a wonderful day and night. Uh, have a good day. Bye.